Alright, how you doing? I'm just going to show how to turn off Windows 10, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1's auto driver off. What's the purpose of that? Basically, if you plug in a component like a webcam, a graphic card, a CPU, anything like that that needs a driver to run, um, the new, especially new OS's now, they have an auto driver, which oddly finds the default driver. There's a good thing about that; makes it more easy for old components. The downside is if uh, if it, the basic driver is not compatible or it just doesn't work as well, uh, then this auto driver tends to get annoying because when you try install a specific file, the time you're trying to do it, like let's say I install the standard driver, it'll, like within a minute or I restart the computer, it automatically installs the default driver. So you can't get your what file you want on there because the auto driver does it. That is the downside. But the good side again is for basic people that don't know how to do this, you know, Adam pick the driver. They don't care how perfected it works. So this is a good thing for about the auto driver. But for, let's say for example, you install trying to install a land driver, uh, then this is the best way to do it. For example, so first, um, you on the bottom left, you'll see the Windows logo. You want to right click it, not left click it, right click it, uh, and you'll see a whole bunch of options come up. And you want to get to the word system. Then this will pop up. And basically, this is just an overview of your computer. You want to get to advanced system settings. Uh, this will pop up. My screen have another monitor so it doesn't pop up like normally, like yours guys will do. Uh, so you can close this out or minimize it, doesn't matter. Uh, and then you just need this. And you want to get to see the system properties. You want to get to the category hardware, and you'll see the word device installing settings. And basically, that's where you want to do it. This is the auto driver. Do you want to automatically download, manufacture apps and custom icons available for this device? Basically, you first time plug the webcam in, and you obviously don't have the disk. They take it online. Well, with the new OS, it'll automatically pick it up and it'll try and install the driver for you without even searching about it. That's the plus. Again, I explained the downside to it. If you wanted a hundred percent perfection, and the standard driver doesn't do it for you, and you can't get that one file driver you want because the auto driver keeps installing that default one, then you want to turn this off. You just click no, which makes it so it doesn't turn anything you plug in or connect to it won't automatically pick up the driver on the what internet and stuff like that. It just will leave it there like it doesn't install. Um, so this is good for like again you're trying to install a specific driver yourself then this is the way to turn off you click no save change okay and that's it you officially turned off Windows 10 Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 auto driver I know in the previous OS like 8 and 8.1 I think the option might be different or because like this new update for 10 from uh, was the 831 which is uh, August 31st of 2016 they have moved and changed the settings all around. So for this current date, as of right now, this is uh, the way to get to that settings. All right, you take care.